Okay, this will be the second part of the saltwater chlorinator. Um, basically, what we're going to do... Well, here, first of all, I got some test strips to show that it works um, for chlorine levels and other things. But that's not important right now. We're going to make it in the portable case. So, I'm going to take a regular highlighter case. Brand new. Open it up. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the tip out. Just like that. I'm dumping in the water I use for my, uh, when I make plants glow. We're going to pull this bottom part out. <clears throat> I'll just set that right there. And we're going to get the bottom out. And I'm going to dump it, just dump it in the water over here. That's not even used. Just going to let that replenish my ink in my, my glow jar. Then we'll go ahead and rinse this out. Off camera. Okay, it runs clear. Rinse this off too. Okay. And then, um, I mean, I'm just basically going to run the wires out the top here. And I'm going to put this in, uh, inside there. Um, put that in the screen there. Put that inside there. And I'm going to use some of the, uh, food grade silicon I <coughs> used on the water filter, or the UV filter. And then I'm going to drill a bunch of holes for the sides here. So let me just go ahead and build it. Like I said, this is going to be inside there, just like that, and it's going to have food grade silicon and have plenty of room for the water to flow around it. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Okay, so, so right I got back. the test strips out. We let this go for 15 seconds after we do it. We're going to go ahead and put regular water in there to check it, and we'll have that as our control. Okay. We're going to put that in for 15 seconds and we'll check it. Let's see. One, two. Okay. That's 15 seconds and we compare. This is chlorine. And it turns yellow. So... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Had it upside down. There's no chlorine in there right now. As you can see, there's none. Okay. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of salt in there. One, two, two shakes. That's it. And I'll use the old chlorine tab to stir it up. And dissolve it. Okay, now I've spilt everything. I've decided to put a cap on the end here. Uh, I was going to use the plug, but I've chosen not to. So there it is in there. Just going to set it in like that. And I'm going to use, like I said, uh, 18 bolts. So, um, let's see here. Negative. All right. And that is negative. And it doesn't really matter what order you connect this in, negative positive, just that one will uh, change the color of your wire. And I'd like to mean mostly silver. So we're going. I'm going to let it foam in there for 15 seconds. All right, that's probably about right. Disconnect it. <coughs> okay, so this has to go in for now. 15 seconds. So this, I'm going to use the camera on the phone or that timer on the phone. Ready and go. Okay, so 
it came out different this time. It's orange. And orange is uh, off the chart, really. So, well, it's kind of changing still. But it's off the chart, so definitely something there if you compare the two strips. None. None versus that. You see that? So there we go. So there's other things changed on it too. Apparently we got a little bit more. Uh, let's see. More free chlorine. I guess chlorine. Free chlorine is the bottom one. And that is uh, purple. So. It's high. It goes from three to six. So. We got six parts per million free chlorine. You see that? Maybe a little more. But there you go. So, alright. So that's how to use it. Um, then you take this and add this to your water. Um, probably a cap full. And throw the rest out. Because it's a little, it's a little high. So, Solution to pollution is dilution. So, I mean, this is going to be a little bit salty. And I'm not going to drink it because it's too high chlorine content. But you'll have to figure out the time based on your, uh, your uh, power levels. <clears throat> and salt levels. And get a, get a tester. Uh, I prefer strips. to figure out how much is in there. And then I can do math later and figure out what I need and stuff. But as uh, the voltage drops on your batteries to the resistance and, and stuff, um, it's going to produce less chlorine over time. Um, I don't know how much chlorine you can produce with 9 volts, but it's, it's enough. So, for many, 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 many days. And, um... You know, we could hook a solar panel to it, one of the 12 volt panels, or whatever you want, or batteries. But you need at least 9 volts to do it right. So there you go. Okay, so I'm going to prepper. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.